All right, we're 56% uh, complete uh, with the Snake Eyes helmet. This is the free uh, Do 3D file you can get. Um, looks it looks nice. I looked at the paid one. The paid one, the only difference I can really see is that the paid one has a spot for magnets for the back piece that goes in behind the head. But I can make something work and save myself the, you know, it was like 20 bucks. It's 40% off right now. So I could have got it for like 17, 18, 20 bucks, something like that. Uh, I was like, you know what? I'm going to save the 20 bucks and print the free one. I buy enough from them. I buy helmets from them. There's a few I want to get from them anyway, or at least two. Uh, maybe some armor one day here, because, uh, you know, I was saying I was going to do some armor, and here I am with another helmet. Uh, I don't know, you know, I'm not sure. Right now, it's uh, I probably went this route because I'm just doing some painting and uh, some repair work on my house. So I'm trying to get that done too, plus, you know, work. <laughs> the, the dreaded work thing so uh yeah only have so much time in the day but it's coming out nice reminds me of the uh um the black panther helmet the way, the way they did the grid in the front like this pretty cool all right we'll stay on top of this and uh fingers crossed Okay, 92% complete. It's coming out pretty good. Uh, I see a little bit of uh, ringing up here or something, but I notice as this thing gets higher, it kind of does that. Anyway, I just ordered a new hut end and some uh, different size uh, nozzles. Uh, Elegoo's website just emailed me saying they're back in stock. I've been waiting a while to get some spare stuff there just in case something goes wrong. So uh, that should get here pretty soon, probably in another week or two. I think it's coming right from China. No choice really, but that's all right. Everything's running good so far. Still have plenty of time. It's coming out nice. Uh, this should be done by 7 o'clock tonight, so another 12 hours. About 12 hours, 13 hours, something like that. But uh, looking good. Everything looks like it's uh, it's on here really well. Okay, so it came out good. Uh, I wind up sanding it down, giving it a first sanding. It's not bad. All the uh, all this texture came out really good. Had no issues with it. No support, yet it's very clean inside, but having no support on the crown. It fits really good too. It's a good fit, 95% scale. So right now, I'm doing the back half. It's about an eight hour print, 42% in now. Uh, it's got a lot of that texture on it too. Then I got to do the visor and some hardware for the visor. I got to print out. All right, so I'm working on the visor. It's uh, I got it sanded down, and now I just put some putty on it. This is important that it comes out really nice and smooth because it's going to have a shinier finish than the rest of the helmet. Uh, the back here is pretty good. Maybe just had to put a little putty on on the edges here. Uh, this is my my second prime on this. Uh, I'm still finding things, so I'm doing a little more touch up with the putty. But overall, it's uh, it's looking pretty good. So we'll do one more prime on it when I'm done with uh, sanding that down. And that that's. Uh, that's only going to take a few minutes to sand down. This one here is going to take a few minutes to sand down. It'll take a little while to get this down sanded right and ready for prime. And we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, uh, after this, it'll just be a single prime. I think I'll be ready for paint. And I did a couple sets of the pins. I don't know if you can see the pins right here. These are, uh, that's what's going to pin. That's what's going to pin it right here. So, uh... You know, when I put the visor on, you know, it's going to have that that pin. So 
fold it all together. We'll see. Hopefully it's tight enough to the visor sits there and it's a little stiff when I slide it up and down. If not, I have an idea I can, uh, how to uh, fix that if it's too loose. So we'll see, see what happens when I get there. All right, so I got the prime on. Uh, this is like the second prime here and here. Uh, this is like the third prime on this one, only because I found a couple things that I wanted to correct and uh, got that all straightened out so everything looks good and smooth. So I think I'm in good shape. I'll probably, I'm going to brush, uh, go over this with 600, uh, 600 grit just to kind of take any, anything off and any kind of rough, uh, you no know, hairs or anything that's stuck on it. Uh, and then I'm going to have to come up with some, uh, some paint and come up with a paint scheme for this. So, uh, let's see how it comes out. All right. So I got the magnets put in here for the, the bottom half of this helmet so we can't separate this it's on there pretty good but yeah see they come off but pretty good here I got them all on <clears throat> on over here sorry for the lighting I'm trying to just get this uh, this video this little clip of the video done uh, but it, yeah, it holds pretty good too. It's like, it's, you know, it's, it's tight. See, it's tight. Not bad. Holds pretty good. And I got the visor painted. This is going to be the gloss part of the, the helmet, the, the gloss part here. As you can kind of see the way this is going to go, you know, so. But. At this point, I'm uh, I'm ready to start painting this. This is gonna be a, a satin black. This helmet, this this whole thing, uh, rattle can. It's 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 actually bare paint. I I did a spoon uh, test. I still have to do a clear on it to confirm that the clear will not cause peeling, orange peel, or anything like that. So it's not definite yet. That is the paint I'll be using, but I. I will be doing a sample uh, on the spoon very shortly, and then I'll know for sure. Um, and same with same with this for the clear. Even though this is already a gloss, this is a very uh, this is a, this is a enamel, a black enamel um, CRC paint that I used also on my Terminator skull. Um, it's a very strong, durable paint. I mean, if I had to, I wouldn't even have to put a clear on that. Um, this here we're gonna see if i'm gonna put a satin clear on it that that is a satin uh black paint i got so uh yeah i gotta i gotta give this a good wipe down and get ready to uh give its first coat and see what happens all right so i got everything painted except for these pins that are gonna go in for the visor here um so I'll be doing that next, but everything else is done and it's got three coats of clear. Uh, the visor here was, uh, this is what I used was the CRC uh, gloss black. And I used the gloss clear here with the Rust-Oleum. And that was just for this one. And these two pieces over here was done with the, uh, the bare black satin. Um, and then I also did a, a satin clear uh, rust them over that so and three coats of that so uh, as i say everything's uh it's ready to go i just ordered some uh some tint for the inside of the visor it should be in tomorrow um so i'm gonna get these these pins painted and get it ready so tomorrow comes i should be able to finish this up and give a final video uh so far I'm very happy with it it's uh fits great it's gonna uh it's gonna be a nice helmet all right, snake eyes complete. Uh, thought it came out pretty nice. Got the uh, the flat satin black in the back, and I got the gloss uh, black in the front, just for the visor. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a bad print. I mean, it printed nice. It was uh, the print's nice. 
Uh, you know, it's got all the textures, different textures in the chin and the sides there, which is pretty neat. But uh, it's got the pins here. Those are 3D printed. And that makes it so that you can take this and just kind of move it up out of the way, you know. So it's pretty cool. And it comes back down. I mean, obviously, I like it this way the best. But uh, I do have the option of popping it up. But you can see through it. I put a... Uh, I put a piece of plastic in the back, a tinted piece, uh, some plastic I, I bought. It's uh, very flexible. It's uh, It should be good enough where you can't see in it from the outside. So it gives it that snake eyes kind of blacked out effect. But yeah, this thing's sweet. Um, it's... It's... Uh, I don't know, it's... A, it's it came out really nice. It's it's uh I had to put one cushion in it. Um I needed a couple of little cushions on the side, but the ones I have are too thick. But it's uh I don't know, maybe I don't really need them. Um it, it does fit pretty snug. Uh but as you can see here, you can see this cushion right there. It's the only cushion I added. And you can see the uh you can see out of it pretty good. Um, and of course I, uh, did this with the magnets. You can see the magnets in there. And one on the side right here. That works out pretty good too. And this thing just, uh, basically it clips together. Snaps right in. You can see it's pretty tight. Really not going anywhere. Uh, yeah, another one for my shelf, my collection. Uh, gee, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I know I got a lot to do in the house and things are coming up. The springtime's coming up. My other hobby, which is my FPV side of things, is uh, going to be taken off shortly. I just registered with the FAA again. And my uh, So my stickers are valid again. All right, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do next. Uh, not sure where I'm going to go with it, if I'm going to do the body armor or not. But uh, you know what? If you like what you've seen and you like my other videos and you haven't subscribed yet, uh, feel free to subscribe and like like the video, leave a comment. Uh, any questions or anything you want to know, just let me, let me know. I'll, if I can answer them, I will. Um, But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do after this one. But it came out sweet. I'll say that much. Came out nice. They all, they all tend to come out pretty good, I guess, now these days. But there's a few things I can see on this visor, unfortunately, that, you know. Worst case, I could take the visor off, sand it down, and just redo it. There's a few blitch, uh, blemishes in it that I can see. Um... Yeah. All right. Well, on that note, Falcon out.